come back and watch the video of us talking and just reminisce about how yeah honestly I'm just terrified about how things are going because when you read all that news about how the earth is dying and then I remember a couple years back they'd say well we have to stop it and now they say we can't stop it it's too late you should have fucking listened to us but no it's too late Yeah, I'm, oh, God damn it, we have to, we just have to abandon ship because of the dumbasses who didn't want to listen over money. Yeah. Yeah, like, all those, that's another thing, like, if I do make an impact in the world, why was it gonna matter if the world isn't gonna be here very long anyways? I don't want the world to end, I don't want to die, I don't want to grow old, I just want everything to stop. I want, I, I want to take a break, but I can't. I wish there was, I could just like, die for a day and then come back, but I can't. I just want, I want everything to freeze. But, it doesn't stop. Like, imagine it being in a coma for years and waking up in 2020, how different things are. Yeah. <laughs> Like I was saying earlier, I just, I want to go back to simpler times when I was a kid because now I know what heartbreak feels like and it's horrible. I don't want to feel it. I want to go back to being a kid. I don't want to be sad and there's nothing I can do but feel sad and there's so many things that I wish I could have done differently, whether it's with a specific person or just in general, like I wish I could have said something different. I wish I didn't say something that I did. I wish things had changed and no matter how much you miss the old times, no matter how much you miss a certain person, it's not coming back and they probably aren't coming back. Yeah, and I hate, I, I hate how sometimes you don't even realize how much you like the person until they're gone. Sometimes you don't appreciate it until it's over. Like, for example, like, a, you don't... This is this is a quote that I always remember from The Office where Andy says, um, I wish I, I knew I was in the good old days before they're gone. Like, if when you're a kid and you're just enjoying life, you're not thinking, hey, in a couple of years I'm going to be depressed and I'm not going to like it or anything. No, you're literally just enjoying it. I, now, I stay up all night just worrying and thinking about things, but when I was a kid, I could just go to sleep so easily, and everything was so simple. <laughs> but, like I, like I was saying, like, when you're a kid, when you're in the good old days, you don't realize that they're the, the good old days. To you, it's just it's just life. You're just living. You're enjoying your life, and then all of a sudden, you look back and you realize, hey, I'm not enjoying it anymore. It's gone. I missed it, and it just feels like it's never coming back. I'm sure one day we'll enjoy our life again because right now, obviously, I'm sad and I'm depressed most of the time. But it's it's probably it's gonna get better eventually. I just wish it could get better sooner. And sometimes doing things, for example, like playing video games, they make me feel better, but I don't want to, I don't want to just feel better. Bra you, remember that? you remember that thing? Do you remember, um, Steven Universe Future, Steven said, I don't want to feel better, I want to be better. 
That's exactly what it is. I don't want to feel better because video games distract me and they make me forget about things. Like they make me forget about... They make me forget about things. But I don't want to just feel better while I'm playing video games. I want to be a better person and I want to I want to be better in general. And uh, hopefully one day I will. It's just not like that today. Uh, there's so many things that I'm thinking about. There's, no, there's so many quotes where it's like, what or uh, people, like in this in the song "Stressed Out" by Twenty One Pilots, he says, "Uh, yeah, it's like when I was younger, or it says uh, it said like when uh." But now they say, wake up, you need to make money like that. It's like... And I say, like, well, when I was younger, they'd say that all my fears would shrink when I got older. But now I'm insecure, and I care what people think. So, yeah, that's that's how I was. Like, I used to have those childhood worries. Like, those tiny little things as a kid that would worry you. And everyone would say, well, yeah, things are going to get better when you grow up. Yeah, all your worries are going to go away when you grow up. And there's so many more worries. There's so many more serious worries now. It it was completely a lie. It didn't go away. It just got so much worse. And what I hate is, I I feel like adults just don't understand because they didn't go through the same thing. And there's so many adults that talk about like about how they paid for college so easily, but it, it was so cheap for them. We have to pay so much damn money. I know it's. It's literally, like, it's a joke, and it's, like, a meme about how, like, they say, like, th like things were worth, like, a dime, but they literally were. Things were so... I saw this, this, like, this story about a, a, an old lady with, like, Alzheimer's who came into, a, like, a, a butchery, and they gave, she gave them a coupon where it was, like, bologna for, like, ten cents. Like, it was a coupon from the 19-somethings. Where the baloney was literally only 10 cents, but now you get it for like four dollars because things just go up for in price so much And I mean I don't blame them like I don't blame old people for not understanding but at the same time I wish they were more understanding. I don't think they felt the kind of depression that our generation feels Yeah, they could buy things. They could buy a car. They could have a family. I don't know how boomers could start families at 20. Like, how is it so easy for them? Literally, back in the olden days, you could get married and have kids by the time you were 20. And now it's, it's just so much more complicated. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I know. I just, I don't know, man. It's, it's. Why do we have to get into this? These thoughts all of a sudden. I don't even know how this started. I was just playing modern, or not modern warfare. I was just playing World War Two, dude. I've literally just been running around. I have 1,629 kills. <laughs> Hold on. Well, I'm, I'm about to get off. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm probably gonna stay up late tomorrow again and we're just gonna have this conversation again. Because it's... I, don't, I, I like venting. I like talking about things like that. Because, I mean, yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. And there's nothing we can do to change it. But at least we can express it with someone who understands because you're going through the same thing you're basically in the same position yeah because it's like if you tell your parents about this they're they're not gonna care it's the same point i gave you with if you if you try to complain to teachers they're just gonna think you're lazy and you don't want to do the work but i'm uh it's Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, 
why are we so stressed? Like, why are we so stressed? Why And why can't schools just see how stressed we are? You know, I saw teenagers, the way that we are basically, like, as humans, we don't get tired until 11 p.m. We... No, yeah. It, you literally, you don't start to get tired until 11 p.m. Because that's just how teenagers are. And we need less, hour, less hours of sleep than adults, but our schedule is so bad for schools. You go... You can only... I mean, yeah, I guess you could force yourself to go to sleep, like, at 10. But the earliest time that a teenager can go to sleep is basically 11. And if, if you somehow magically manage to go to sleep at 11, that's still barely enough time because you have to wake up at 7. Which is 8 hours of sleep, which is barely, barely the amount of time that you act, that you need. And... I, I know, and we, we're forced to run off of it. And then they get mad if we go to sleep in class. Like, what do you expect if this is literally what you set up? It's like if you wanted this to happen. See, this is another thing I'm scared about is, like like I said, we're about to be the generation that's in charge, but are we really going to be able to do anything? Because we're thinking, if I was in charge, this is what I'd change, but we're about to be in charge, and I don't think we're actually ready to make the change. I'm definitely not ready, like, how am- I don't know how to make decisions. I don't know how to be some big politician who can just, like, change things. I want to be, like, I want to be someone who can change things, but... Yeah. It's, it's... I honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm just terrified about that, because we, we rely so much on other people, like, right now. If you... Right now, old people like boomers, they're in charge, and they do everything. They do everything, basically, and we're about to be the ones who have to be them. And another scary thing is that we're about to be the ones who, um, we're about to be the boomers. We're gonna end up being old people as well. I just, I, that whole thing about what if we're in, like, the final, final flashback makes so much sense, because right now, I can imagine myself as, like, an old man just thinking back to this time when I wished I could change things and I just couldn't. And I'm gonna think back to times like this when I'm older. And I'm probably, there's gonna be so many things that I wanted to do, but I just didn't do them. Which is why I, I'm telling you, like, I want to be a nice person, I want to be nice to people, and I want to take shots. If I want to do something, then I'm going to do it. I'm not going to just, like, I'm not going to regret it and turn back. I'm going to I'm gonna do whatever I want to do. And, I mean, like I said, for like what I told you about, if you ask someone out, what's the worst that could happen? They say no, and that's it. But... Imagine if they say yes, but if you didn't ask it, if you didn't ask them, you n you're never gonna know. I would rather hear them say no, than just never actually know what the answer was. Because then you're gonna be fantasizing about them actually saying yes, and it could have been a reality, you just, you stopped yourself from letting it happen. You are the only reason that it didn't happen. You should have just done it, and I don't want to. I don't want to think about that anymore because, there's, like I said, there's a lot of things that I could have said to change things, and there's a lot of things that I could have done, and I didn't do them. And looking back, I really regret that. So I'm gonna do as much as I can so that I won't have regrets. 
And remember, just in the plan, always, if we aren't married by 50, we're going down with the heist. There was this guy who, when he was like, he just didn't want to live anymore. He wanted to go down in glory. So he had, his entire body was bulletproof. He even had a bulletproof mask. And he had like an AR with a bunch, with like 200 rounds. And he just, started, he got in a gunfight with police. We could have something like that. I mean, yeah, I don't want to kill a bunch of people, but we can go down with a heist. It's, it's honestly just the perfect plan. You either, you either make it out with all the money and you live happily or you die happily knowing that you died in, you died in thrill. You died in excitement. You died with your best friend next to you and you died knowing that you had, you did something, you know? And that's actually another good way to get your name out there. You could be a guy who went down doing a heist. Uh, it's... So weird. I want to have a wife. I want to have a family. I already, yeah, I already felt what it was like to have someone, and, um, like, you know, it's, it's good. It's, it's nice to have someone there, and someone who you know cares about you. Even though, I mean, they didn't really, but it felt like it for a while, you know? So. Yeah. Maybe it ended, for example, like how it ended with her, but I'm still happy that it happened because I got that, like, I had that time. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna get off now, but we can do this tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just gonna upload, I'm gonna upload this final clip. Mm-hmm.